I'm Megan. I'm this domesticated diva and I'm here with my husband today. We thought we would share with you a little bit about our move to Florida and how we decided to take our family across the entire country and how that all fell into place. <clears throat> it's true. I'm Nat. I'm her husband. Uh, I guess we'll get into a little bit of our own rhymes with adventure. <laughs> Last night definitely ranks in one of the top five longest nights we've had with him. <laughs> it's cool. We're just over here waiting for daddy so that we can do this video. Are we waiting? Can you can you tell daddy to come here? I would say that the first time that Florida came up in conversation between the two of us was after your NUCA conference. Is that three years ago now? Two years ago? Two years ago, right? But you came home, kind of one of the things they do at these conferences is they have kind of work fairs where you get to meet a bunch of doctors. Yeah, so I guess we should back up real quick since we keep saying NUCA. <laughs> N-U-C-C-A. So the particular upper cervical technique that I'll be practicing is called NUCA. So since we'll be saying the term NUCA a lot, that's where that's coming from. Um, but yes, they have a job fair uh, every year at the conference. At the job fair, you know, you meet a bunch of uh, doctors who are looking to take new docs, such as myself, under their wings. Um, you basically train as associates under them. Uh, you learn everything you possibly can um, under them, and then of course you spread your wings and go do your thing usually after that. The doc that I met from Florida was really cool, um, but of course I kind of came home and was like, yeah, the doc was really cool, but oh, you know, Florida is so far away. I'm like, oof, I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure, like, so he called me on the phone and he told me he had met with like five different doctors and was excited about a couple of them. And he was like, you know, there's this one doctor in Florida. And I went, oh, hell no, I am not moving to Florida. Yeah. And he was like, oh, yeah, no, that's that's not going to work. But I really liked him. Yeah. And that was about the extent of that conversation. Yeah, because I, I think at that time I just kind of broached with a couple of the doctors in conversation the idea of, you know, hey, you know, whereabouts your practices? I'd like to work with you, stuff like that. And I had interest from, I don't know, about four or five docs at that time. Basically kept going to conferences and uh, it's funny, I just, I kept bumping into that same Florida doctor and uh, we just kept vibing. The doctor was just really interested and was like, you know, why don't you fly out, check out my practice, meet my family, see my employees, stuff like that. Should I blast him off to bed real quick? Blast him off to bed, which is funny considering he's wearing rocket jeans. <laughs> That's why I, said, I think I said it. <laughs> I think it's night night time. <laughs> All right, mister. To be continued. Be back. Like I was saying, I think over that last, that year between the conference, Florida probably never even crossed my mind again. I like didn't even give it a second thought. Yeah, and a lot going on at that time. I don't know that either of us really, really thought about that. But obviously during that year, like God was clearly doing some work in both of our hearts because we were very much like not even considering it. And then when you called me from the conference that next year, you were really, really excited about this guy. You were really excited about the potential of working in Florida, which I didn't expect, but I also didn't expect my response of like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think we've kind of reached this point where we've kind of said yes to so many adventures that it's kind of just like, why the heck not? <laughs> I mean, we can be anywhere for two, three, four years, so it's it's not like we just we look can't, at it but... like an adventure. Yeah, 
And then if it turns into something beyond an adventure, you know, we want to plant permanent roots, so be it. You know, that's okay. And you know, funny enough, we've had a lot of like negative reactions when we share that this is where we're headed. Um, I mean, our family fully supports us, mm -hmm. but we've just had a lot of people who we've asked for advice during this moving process in one way or another be like, Florida, did you go visit there? Did you visit <laughs> during the summer? Like, do you know what the weather's like? And we're like, yeah, we, we definitely did our research. We're not yeah. someone to just jump into something without doing our research. Any research at no. all. No, like we have very thoroughly looked into you know, living costs and what the community Moving is costs, like, what the everything. culture is like. Crime, everything. Uh, and part of that too is just our massive over planning personalities that we are. But uh, part you know, of that too, I, which is. I read something that uh -oh. says that's how you cope with anxiety uh, is by nice. over planning. And I was like, hmm, that's me. I it might. It does keep a lot of people away from making decisions. <laughs> I might have like a little bit of anxiety uh, about moving, like that's under the surface. But I overall, I really am excited about it. I think that's healthy. I think that's expected for most people. You do a, a huge move across country like this. I, I think it would be kind of crazy if somebody wasn't like, whew type of a, you know, take your breath away. But at the same time, <laughs> you get that same feeling when you're on a roller coaster, <sighs> right? And but yet we get back, I know, I was just gonna say, we get back on roller coasters, but I hate roller coasters. No, you don't. You don't get back on it, and you try no. to talk me out of getting back on it. My gosh, we were at, like, I mean, side topic. We were at Legoland, and this is when Skylar was like. <gasps> he wasn't born yet. Oh my gosh, no, 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 Legoland. Oh. Yeah, Legoland, place. he was. Four or five? He was four and Makeda <laughs> was two. So they, we, we got on the kids roller coaster and I think I almost broke it because I was bracing so hard with my legs and my arms and right next to me is a little four-year-old going and I'm like, ah, you know, <laughs> bracing. I really do not like oh, roller coasters. Man. I just find it interesting. Our friends who know us and our family who know us say, oh yeah, I could see why you guys would have a lot of fun down there. And we could actually see you living there. I don't know if it'd be permanent, but I could definitely see you guys living there for several years. It's people um, who it's, more yeah, are like outside or our close circle who think yeah, we're um, crazy. But, but that's allowed, okay. Everyone's... They're allowed to have their opinion. I just don't care. Right. Yeah. So a couple weeks ago, he got his board reviews back. Mm. The last of his board reviews. National so boards. Yeah, national boards to get your chiropractic license. There are five parts. Five parts, and then I also have to take the state version, and then I have to do an X-ray an X -ray radiologist version and stuff like that. But. So the difference between these national boards and many other mm -hmm. national boards you take mm -hmm. for multiple licenses is these came in five parts that you took throughout the course of his program. So it's really been over the past two years, right, that you've been taking these? Yeah, you have the option of taking them all after you graduate, but it just... It adds a lot more stress on you to take it during, but it also makes a lot more sense because the information is so much more fresh in your head because just the level of detail they ask some of these questions is absolutely insane. But I'm nervous, are you nervous? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> See my exam results. Woo. Dang. I got a 515. Woo, woo. 375 is passing. <laughs> I'm going to say you passed with flying colors. Gosh, all right. Woo! Woo! All right, so um, then shortly after you got your board's tests, scores back, Yes. I don't know if I said that right. No, that's okay. <laughs> board test scores back. The, the doc that's hiring you <laughs> sent you and I to that coaching seminar. First of all, he wanted to make sure that you kind of agreed with the general philosophy of which the wasn't practice. Hard. <laughs> which we definitely did. Yep. And he kind of was having the president of this coaching group be like your, your final vetting. He, he made it very clear that this was like the last hoop the last hurdle so that um, wasn't this, nerve uh, it, it was it was a little nerve-wracking but at the same time it was one of those where i was like we are who we are like obviously we're going to present our best version of ourselves but so of course the big selling point there was you know shocker right here 
but uh... <laughs> Which was so funny because when he first came up and introduced himself to me you were over like talking to somebody else and I was by myself so if you know me I'm totally awkward I'm like I dance that line of like introvert extrovert and I get mm. really awkward in new settings where I don't know anybody and so I usually am glued to his side and like don't you dare leave me and he walked away and of course this would be the moment that the president would come up and introduce himself to me and I was like don't say something stupid don't say something stupid <laughs> I was so worried that like something was gonna come out of my mouth that was going to like change his yeah. opinion of you that's right she was gonna collapse our future <laughs> Like, no, uh, this needs to be on your shoulders, not mine. <laughs> I wasn't made uh, for that. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. good morning. Okay, so it's Saturday morning. We're here in San Francisco and we're at a conference for my husband's hopefully soon to be job. It's like a coaching group and we're, I might be more nervous than my husband, but we're a little bit nervous because um, we're gonna kind of get vetted at the end of this. Well, he will. <laughs> And this kind of determines if we sign contracts next week or not. So, wish us luck. So we just finished up our conference and we feel pretty good about it because the head of it said he's giving a thumbs up to the doctor who has expressed interest in hiring you. That was very wordy. Well, goodness sake. I mean, I don't... The doctor who is the head of New Beginnings said he'll be reporting back to my soon-to-be head doc I just was trying Thumbs to be up. careful because it's like I don't have special permission from him to like share names or any information about his business <laughs> anyway how did you feel it went I thought it went great this is my second uh, second one with fast. new beginnings good good driver second uh, second seminar with new beginnings um, I actually really enjoy them they're just very uplifting um, really good content really like intense a lot of information but it's really good to know I was not expecting to be brought to tears three times over <laughs> yeah and then I had to like look around the room because I was like oh my gosh I can't believe I'm actually crying right now and I looked around and like there was not a dry eye in the room it's true I think a better question crazy. is what did you think since this was your first exposure wow that made it sound like a disease <laughs> um Wow, that, that, I mean, it definitely was a lot to take in, but first of all, I'm impressed that I could take away stuff to like implement in my business, even though that's a completely different avenue. So I thought that was kind of cool. I didn't expect it to translate in that type of a way. Um, it's a working business model I for all. I was impressed that, you know, we were hanging around people who are all very wealthy. Let's just put it blunt. Yep. And they were not at all... Oh, wrong spot that's a one-way <laughs> <laughs> they were not at all like stuck up or show-offy they were all just like super welcoming <laughs> he just went in the wrong way oh that was the entrance just ignore that <laughs> but you know what I mean they were all just really like welcoming and inviting and encouraging and all really sweet and not they didn't feel at all judgmental or anything like that. So that's always good. Search your parking ticket. Ooh, robot voice. Parking ticket. All right. Well, we're gonna hit the road now. Yeah, we should go. All right. Overall, good. Signing off. <laughs> so I'm a little bit of the crazy type. We know this. Mm, it's the first time hearing of this. For my sanity, I somehow convinced you to start packing eight weeks prior oh, to our Lord. us actually moving. Yep. It's been, we've, I mean, I feel great about it. I'm not gonna lie. Like I feel so accomplished and yet I still get this like nervous energy that we haven't <laughs> done enough. And he's like, let's leave it all for the last week. And I'm like, are you kidding me? When you're in a 900 and something square foot apartment. 952. <laughs> there you go, 952, don't sell it short. 952 square, square foot. foot apartment with the five of us we have basically purged every month anyway so, you have to yeah and then with anything that's kids. not being utilized with has to be with this many kids with no, the whole with, school bus with, that backs i should up. say with the, with this many people in this yes. small of a space things pile up very quickly so and we, stuff has to be already in bins yeah. and boxes and stuff we like that we have to constantly be getting rid of stuff otherwise it just adds up 
Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna make fun of because several of my friends can't stand when I use the word literally, but literally a couple of things that we packed, we just put the folds on top of the box and whoosh, put the tape right over it. I mean, that's that's just kind of how you have to live in very small square footage areas. It's so. phenomenal. Oh, well done. I hope Kat watches this. She better. If she doesn't, she's not a true friend. Yeah, she's probably not anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably get a punch for that one. That's okay. <gasps> well deserved, I would say. Mm, probably. Well deserved. share about this um some people even thought maybe that we were keeping a secret mm. not so much the case we were never trying to keep a secret by any means so <clears throat> yeah it's not it's not that it's a secret it's we even waited a while to tell our families uh part of that just comes down to logistics which is um obviously before we decide to move our entire family cross country like let's be real there's a much larger cost to move across country than to move one state away, two states away, to stay mm -hmm. in the state you're in. You know, there's a larger cost. Um, the other part of that too was I didn't take my last set of national boards until end of April. So the contract that I have for work obviously hinges on me passing national boards because without that I can't get licensure. I love having backup plans. Uh, this was not the only uh, the only deal on the fire there. <laughs> you know, we had a couple on the back burner that if this should fall through or something were delayed, um, we had other things to look at. So we didn't tell I our mean, family, we didn't tell our friends. I mean, this they, is the one we wanted. <laughs> this is the one we wanted, and of course, is the one that ended up working out and stuff like that. But obviously, the one God had planned for us. Yeah. <laughs> Before this, like whole chiropractic <clears throat> thing came kind of fell in our lap like God kind of placed it there yeah. but before we had even figured out that this was the route we wanted to go we had other plans that we were going to do and yeah. we told everybody about it and we yep. were super excited and they all fell apart so we've just kind of learned that for our sanity so that we don't have to I mean we've all been there right where we had to explain something that failed to somebody and how hard that is it's it's kind of just easier to make sure things are actually falling into place before you share with the world yeah. but that being said <laughs> like our family our friends who will like are in our close knit circle who we see on a day to day basis, they all knew what was going on. It just wasn't yeah. something that we were sharing, you know, on public forums like social media because we we just weren't sure it was actually gonna all work out. <clears throat> no. Well <gasps> That's all we have to share with you today. Thank you so much for tuning in and make sure to tune back in next week where I'm going to share with you packing tips that worked for our family. And like some you kind of hinted at before, there's some gold in there you won't mm. want to miss. I mean, we've done this enough time. We've made the mistakes for you. So we'll just, we're just going to take that out of the equation. People love to say the best way to learn is from other people's mistakes. It's much better to learn than from your own mistakes. So I will very much agree with that. Hey, while you're here, like, subscribe, send us If you us enjoyed money. this video, <laughs> please share it with your friends. And we can't wait to talk with you again next week. Were you hot? Uh, Did you ask for my help? You have like this one little... Greaser curl. Greaser curl, yeah. 
Is this going at all how you're thinking? A little bit. I was doing the screensaver. All right, what are we doing?